Hello, this is Luca, and today I wanted to do a quick video on Clear Nendroid number 597 from Dramatical Murder. This is what's on the front. It says Clear Dramatical Murder, and then there's a picture right there, and Dramatical Murder again, which is what he's from, and then right here. There are two logos for the 10th anniversary and Orange Rouge, which is a male figure line partnership between Max Factory and Good Smile Company. And then on the side, there are some pictures of Clear and then Clear's name and more pictures of Clear and Alba. And then up here, it's just more pictures of the figure, which looks really nice. I love the color scheme of the box. And then there's all the um, disclaimers and information about the figure. And on the other side are more pictures. At the bottom. Another picture and more information on the top. So that is the exterior. Moving on to the inside of the box, you have your blister pack, which has all of the accessories and the Nendroid. This is the background of the Nendroid box, and it has an image of Clear's bedroom, which is very nice, and then number 597. That just slides out of the back, it was right in here. So right out of the box, the figure has instructions on the bottom, both in Japanese and English, with diagrams of everything that the figure comes with, as well as how to change the faceplates and set them up on their stand. In the bottom section of the blister packaging right here, the stand comes wrapped in plastic, so this is the standard Nendroid stand with an arm for holding the Nendroid in place, and with that also comes a extra neck joint in case you would need it. Clear comes with three faceplates. This is the first one that he comes with, a standard smiling expression, and then a happy face with his eyes closed. And this is the third one, looking a bit uncomfortable or embarrassed. And you might be able to count this as a fourth faceplate because it does cover his whole face. It is his gas mask that he wears. And it has this extra hair piece right here that it just detaches from. He also has a smaller gas mask so that Clear can hold it in his hands. And it comes with this special handpiece that has a peg in it right here. So you can just attach it to the mask and then insert it into one of Clear's arms and he'll be holding it just like one of his poses on the box. He comes with his umbrella that you commonly see him with. Um, it just attaches right here. Staff piece right here is very flimsy, so I haven't been able to actually detach it from the main umbrella piece. I've been worried about it breaking or snapping, and he has a special arm that he comes with for holding the umbrella, and the umbrella is a clear plastic. Aside from the two arms that come already on the Nendroid in the box, he comes with four extra ones, two slightly bent arms with um, fist holding hands, or holding hand fists, and two arms that are molded so that they will go right up against his body. There are no hands that come with these ones because they are for the pose when he puts his hands in his pocket, which is one of my favorite ones. And all his right arms come with a watch on it, and all the hands on the arms are detachable, so you can mix and match as you please for your posing pleasure. And the last thing in the box is Clear himself, so this is what he would look like if you just took him out of the package. He is very, very cute. I am actually really glad that I bought him. I really love this Nendroid. His boots do come off. He doesn't come with any extra leg pieces, but these are... I assume they come off so that you can pose them like sideways or inwards, however you want. And his waist does move slightly. He comes with this greenish yellow neon-y scarf, which I think is a very, very nice touch for all the white that he's wearing. The scarf is removable, so you can pose him with or without it, which is a nice touch as well. I just wanted to look at his hair because that is like my favorite part of the figure. It is really, really well sculpted in my opinion. I just really love it. I think that the whitish gray hair looks really, really good with his 
light pink eyes, which it just complements the character so well. And he does have these two moles on his face that are on every single faceplate, which is very, very nice. I think they're just adorable. I just wanted to do a quick 360 so that you can see what he looks like fully. And this is the peg that the stand goes in, so that you can pose him. But overall, he is a really, really nice Nendroid. I really, really like him. So I'm glad that I decided to buy him, and he does make me want to collect the rest of the Dramatical Murder Nendroids, so hopefully I can do that as well. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye guys!